in the beginning of time, people used to believe that there is another world apart from ours. A world that is unknown from any human being. A wonderful world filled with joy and laughter. A world where creatures are true to their loved ones. A world where these creatures, every so often, fall in love. Although sometimes, it is hard to believe that such a world exists. Grandson. Grandma, you know, I think mermaids don't really exist. Well, what made you think that mermaids don't really exist? Do you mean to say someone could be half human and half fish? You see, grandson, there are a lot of things in this world that is really hard to explain. But mermaids are real. Then how come we never get to see any of them out here? It's because we cannot live together. Mermaids and... and humans. Well, you know what they say about these creatures. These mermaids we speak of are very special. They are beautiful and full of charm. And their love is eternal. Tino, what are you staring at? <sighs> Didn't you see that? There's a woman. Behind those rocks, right there. She's so pretty. Where? I don't see anything. <sighs> she was just right there. She was staring back at me. She had the prettiest smile. She even waved at me. Maybe it was a mermaid you saw. Old folks in this place say there's a lot of them here. Do you really think I would believe that? Come on, let's just start fixing this thing. We need to get back to the island. Fine. Tino's not here yet. Where is he? Ernesto, your son is late again. He said he'll be here for the procession. Well, where is he? The procession's over. That's right. I think we're here. Let's go. We're here? Yes. Be careful. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Auntie! <laughs> Oh, goodness, where have you been? We've been waiting for you since the procession started. Well, we're here. Our boat's engine stalled. Well, look at you. You should always try to look your best. Such a shame. You know how these people look up to us in this town. 
Oh, come on, Mom. It's not as if I'm not wearing anything. What are you talking about? Well, if you would only find someone special to take care of you, then I won't be bothering you with these things all the time. You should listen to your mother, Tino. <laughs> but I thought we talked about this already. Look, son, we're getting old already. What your dad and I want is to see our grandchildren grow up. So you should get married soon while we're still alive. <laughs> your mother's right, Tito. And if you do, we'll let you take care of our businesses. Well, you know what, Mom, Dad? I don't see why I should get married for that reason. But when I finally meet the woman that I love, I'll marry her right away. <laughs> Okay. Look at Vivian. She's been waiting for you all day. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Where have you been? What took yeah, you so long? Yeah, sorry about that. Well, we had to fix the boat's engine. Oh, okay. Um, so until when are you going to be here and when did you arrive? Just last night. Oh, really? Well, I think I'm going to be here for a while. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. Vivian's been looking all over for you. You know what? I think she's really into you, man. What do you think, huh? Lester, can I ask you something? <clears throat> why is it? I don't know why I can't... I really can't seem to... forget her smile. The way she was looking at me. When she was waving at me. Even her hair. I can't take her off my mind. Who? Well, who else but the woman I saw out there in the ocean? <laughs> but I thought that woman wasn't really there. I thought you were just hallucinating. Yeah, right. I'm sure. I wasn't hallucinating, dude, but you know, I know she's out there somewhere. But to tell you the truth, when I saw her, I felt my world suddenly changed. I think she's the woman I've been waiting for all this time. <laughs> wow, Vivian, that's All a lot right. of food. What's going on here? It's a surprise party for Tino. I know it's his birthday tomorrow, so I thought it would be nice to prepare something for him. Oh, but isn't this a little too much? I it's know, just but be us, I'm right? sure Tino will love this. These are my secret recipes, and I cooked everything myself. And this crab? Oh, that <gasps> is so good. I don't believe you. Will you listen to yourself? Snap out of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you okay? Did you hear that? What? Did What's you hear that, on? Lester? Hear what? <sighs> what is it? Hey, you sure you didn't hear that? What? Where are you going? Hey, Tino, wait up! Wait for me! I thought you went out to get Tino. Well, he's not outside. Then where is he? Well, according to all your servants, he took your boat out to sea. Dude! What are you looking for? Tino! This is crazy, it's pouring! What are you looking for? What is it? Tino! There's a woman! But where are you? I, I know she's anything. out here somewhere. I can hear her calling. Try to Tino. look around. This is too dangerous. Let's just look for her tomorrow. But it's raining. Can't he choose a better time to go out there? He's so impossible. Tino! What? Over there! There's a woman! Over there! Look! Do you see her?
I'm having a nervous breakdown because of our son. Oh, come on, Felicia. Stop panicking. It really doesn't help if you start panicking. But what could have prompted him to go out to sea in this kind of weather? Who knows? Where can he possibly be? I hope he's not in any danger. Oh my goodness! Aunt Felicia! Uncle Ernesto! Elvira! How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Ma'am, your son has just arrived. I told you he was oh, safe. thank heaven. I'm just glad that he got home safe, please. Auntie, he got home just in time for a surprise party. Now let's all get ready so that when he comes in here, everything is set, okay? <laughs> oh, who's going to light the candles? Aunt, uh, don't worry. Everything has been taken care of. Someone call a doctor. Lester, get help. Quick. Okay. Her vital signs are practically normal. We just have to wait till she wakes up. Thank you so much, Doctor. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand, Tino. You said you found her when you were out at sea? Yes, Mom. She was floating. How did she end up in the ocean? Well, I still don't know, Dad. You're safe now. I took you here to my parents' house. By the way, my name is Tino. May I know your name? Lucia. That's right, my name is Lucia. The doctor said she has this thing called selective amnesia. She can't remember her past. Well, I don't think that's still our problem. Mom, the thing is we can't send Lucia away just like that. Where do you expect her to go? But this house is not a nursing home. Look, son, if you want, let's just bring her to a monastery. The nuns would be able to look after her there. Mom, please. Lucia is my responsibility now. If something bad happens to her, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Tino! Your son's right, Felicia. We just can't let her leave our house like that. Whether we like it or not, she's our responsibility. I've been looking all over for you. I was just enjoying the sea breeze. It makes my heart feel lighter. Uh... By the way, I've mentioned to my mother and father that you would be staying with us while... while you haven't regained your memories. Wouldn't I be a burden to them? What if... What if I just go back to the sea again? To the sea? No, Lucia. I want you to stay here with us. I want you to stay here until I am sure that you have your memories back. I don't have any idea where I came from, Dino. Who I am before this, before you rescued me. I don't know why the waves brought me here to you. There's so many things I don't know. But there's only one thing I am sure of. that I'm in the right place.
Where the heck did she get that woman? She has no right to be here. I will not allow that woman to be with Tino. As long as she is here, I'm not going anywhere. I will find out who she is. Tino is mine alone, and he should not belong to someone else. See ya. Uh, the, What's Dino, up? You know, did you see that? Over there. What was it? She was looking at me, and I've seen her a couple of times already. Where? In that part of the ocean? Yes. Over there. As if she was looking up for me. But I don't see anything. She was there. I just saw her. Lucia. You know what? I think we should just go inside and get something to eat. Come on. Let's go. Hey, man. What are you doing here? Uh... Nothing. Lester, um, I have something to ask you. What is it? Would you say you believe in mermaids? Mermaids? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I hear a lot of people say there's a lot of them here. Why? Nothing. I'm just wondering. Where do you think you're going? Lester, do you believe in destiny? That every person is rightfully meant for someone? And I think for me, that person is Lucia. She's the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> wow. You know what? To tell you the truth, you're crazy. You barely even know her, so if I were you, I'd think it through, okay? Later. <laughs> Stupid. Nowhere, really. I'm not going anywhere. Um, sorry, I have to go. I just need to find Dino. Hold on, why are you in such a hurry to leave? You can't go unless I'm done talking to you. Vivian, I know you don't like me being here. I've already felt it from the start, but... But I'm asking you nicely, please let me go. No, I will not let you go. You know, I know you're kind. I know you're up to no good. Admit it. You're just pretending to be someone else. Am I right, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. It's not true that you don't remember anything. You're only after Tina because you know he's rich. I have news for you, poor little girl. Tina deserves someone who's rich like me. Do you understand? Huh? I'm the right woman for him and not you. Uh, you're hurting me. Well, I really mean to hurt you. Why don't you go back to the place where you crawled out from? And stay away from Tino, do you understand? Get this into your thick skull. Get it in your head that you'll stay away from him. Leave this house for good. Get that in your head, okay? Stop. You're stop. hurting me. Get away from her. What the hell is your problem? Don't you see that this woman is just trying to fool you? You don't know her! That girl's a gold digger! She's a gold oh, I said, digger! Stop it! Get her out of the house! <laughs> 
No, she's not going anywhere. Lucia is staying right where she is. And that's because I'm going to marry her. <laughs> What you heard is true, Lucia. I want you to be my wife. I want to be with you forever. But that is only if you will let me. But how can you be sure you want to marry me when... when you barely even know me? We don't know where I came from, what my past was. We don't know anything. Listen to me, it doesn't really matter where you came from. Or whoever you are. What matters to me, Lucia, is that I love you, and I will fight for the love I have for you. Lucia, will you marry me? What? The two of you are getting married? Yes, Mom, and as soon as possible. Just wait here. Tino, you don't know what her real identity is. What if she's already married to someone else? Mom, if she's married to someone that I'm sure you would have found out already, I know you did your investigation on her. You even went with Vivian, am I right? Well, it was only right to do so. It's only proper to have her investigated because we have totally no idea where she came from. Tino, I will not let this happen. I will not let you marry that woman. Mom, what's wrong with you? Aren't you the one who told me to get married soon? Yes, I know that. I want you to get married, but absolutely not to that woman. Vivian likes you so much. Why don't you marry her instead? We know her family very much, my son. Besides, like she's one of us. Lucia! Lucia! Please just let her go, Tino. She is not the right woman for you. Mom, I am the only one who can decide who I'm supposed to marry. I'm sorry. Lucia! Tino! Lucia! Lucia! Lucia, wait up! Lucia! Lucia, what are you doing? Dina, just let me go. Just leave me alone. I am not letting you go. What your mother said is true. We're not the same kind. Listen to me. I don't care about what my mother says. What's important is that I love you. And we're going to get married. Have I been such a bad mother? I only want to protect my son, that's all. We can't stop Tino from doing what he wants, Felicia. He loves Lucia. Whoever she is. But it's not right! Lucia, I can't go on living without you by my side. Because of you, my life's complete. And if I ever lose you, it would become meaningless. We have no idea who that woman is. I don't want her! I won't accept it! But our son is old enough. And if you choose to do this, you might even lose your son. Do you want that to happen? Lucia, I beg you not to leave me. I love you so much. Lucia, if my mother doesn't want you, we will get away from this place. We'll go somewhere far. Tino. I love you so much, my son. That's why I only want what's best for you. I can't afford to lose you. Go ahead and do what you want. I'll let you marry her as long as you don't leave us.
to see you. Just give me some time to get to know you. this be the symbol of my eternal love. I promise to love you more than my life. I will never leave your side. I'm willing to give up my life for you. Let this be the symbol of my eternal love. Every moment that I'm with you is a moment filled with joy. And your love is the only treasure I have in this world. I want to grow old, knowing you're by my side. I love you so much. By the power vested in me by the Catholic Church, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. There's what? a woman. Where? Looks like a mermaid. Hey, everybody! There's look. a mermaid. There's a mermaid. Hey, mermaid. Come on, I'm playing the three. Come on, come on, there's a mermaid. Come Let's on, go. Look. come on. Look, a The people said they saw a mermaid earlier. Hmm? Do you think she's the one who's looking out for me? I don't know. I guess so. Is it true that mermaids are bad luck? I don't think so. We're on our honeymoon, Lucia. You shouldn't concern yourself about these things too much. Because this night is ours. It is me you should be concerned about. So beautiful. <laughs> Elsa, coffee, please. Mother, would you like something to eat? I'm not hungry. You might try to poison me, so I won't take that risk. Well, what are you standing there for? Um, mother. May I know why you're so mad at me? Do you really want to know? Well, let me tell you the truth. I am mad at you because you're a nobody. I have so many dreams for my son. Since he was a child, I've always told myself, I want him to, I wanted him to get married to someone whom he can really be proud of, to whom our family can be proud of. But look what happened. He only chose to marry someone like you. 
What sort of enchantment did you use on my son? Your son's not under any spell. I love Tino. Please believe what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that that's true? That you really are in love with my son? How can I believe you when we don't even know where you came from? Who your family is? Who are you really? We did an investigation, but we couldn't find any information about you. So that's why for me, you're just fooling my son. And until you tell me exactly where and what part on earth you came from, I will never be at rest, and I will never be able to accept you. But, but mother... But don't you dare try to touch me! Now get out of my sight! I said get out of my sight! Lucia? Lucia? Elsa, have you seen Lucia? Yes, sir. I saw her took off on a boat. She went out to sea. I tried oh. to stop her, but she didn't let me. Why did she leave all of a sudden? I don't know. Who am I? Where did I come from? Why can't I remember my past? Why is the ocean always calling out to me? Lucia! Lucia! Huh? You have to get away from here. Your life's in danger. The evil queen's out to get you. You have to leave right now. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. Just get out of this place right now. Wait a minute. Wait! Don't leave me! Was it? Where did it come from? Sit down for a minute. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was after me. It was after me. But why? Lucia. I don't understand. Lucia, listen to me. I don't understand. Me. Listen to me. You shouldn't go back to the ocean, okay? It is not safe for you to be there. It's too dangerous. I'm so confused. You should not let anyone know about this. Besides, nobody will believe you. They might just think that you're starting to go mad. Lucia? Lucia! Dino, what happened? Well, you got dizzy, and then you passed out. That's why I brought you here. Mr. Montemayor? Doctor, how are you? Uh, what's your diagnosis? How's my wife doing? Well, you see, your wife is not sick. She just got tired. But next time, she needs to be more careful. It's not good for her to get too tired. Um, why do you say that? I don't get it. Your wife is pregnant. You will have a child soon. <sighs> Did you hear that? Ma'am, 
You shouldn't be staring at it too much. Your child might come out like that. What are you talking about? That's just some old superstition. <laughs> come on. You should eat something. The baby must be hungry. <laughs> This is really bad. You hardly caught anything. If this goes on like this, my business will go bankrupt. I don't know what to think anymore. And now that woman is about to have a child with my one and only son. That's right, deep breathing. Give it the push. Go on, just keep on pushing. I'm aware of that, sir. It's been almost a year already. It seems that the rumors are true that... This town is cursed. I'm still not giving up, Auntie. I do believe that we can still drive that woman out of this town. You shouldn't believe in those rumors. You know what? Just try to be optimistic about it, and I'm sure everything will pick up soon. <coughs> Keep pushing! What's going on? Go on, keep pushing. The head's coming out. Come on, push. It's coming out. Just a little more, push. Come on, you can do it. Oh, my God. Merciful God. What's wrong, Doc? Is there something wrong with my baby? Our child's a mermaid. She's so pretty. Look, I think she got your eyes. Jezebel. I want to name our child Jezebel. Lucia, how come our child is a mermaid? Maybe because I kept looking at that calendar. Look at her, she's smiling at us. She's so beautiful. She looks so much like you. But you know, Lucia, I'm afraid that life won't be easy for our child. What do you mean by that? Lucia, people in this town believe that mermaids are bad luck. Once they find out that our child is a mermaid, I'm afraid that they might try to take Jezebel away from us. They might think that it's Jezebel who's causing all this bad luck in our town. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> look, it's a mermaid! It's a mermaid! Hey, everyone, look! There's a mermaid! Come on, guys, let's take a look! It's a mermaid! Oh my God, this is not happening because of that mermaid. This tragedy happened to us. It's because of that mermaid. No. I won't let that happen. I won't let them take my child away. I also won't let that happen. I won't let anybody hurt our child. I will do everything I can to protect Jezebel. I'll protect her with my life. For as long as I live, no one can hurt our child. What are you doing, Dino? I know you just gave birth and that you're still feeling weak. But we've got no other choice. We have to bring her somewhere safe. You better change. We're leaving now. A monster! A monster! A monster! What's going on? Dino's child is a monster! The baby's a monster! It's a monster! What are you talking about, Doctor? Lucia, why don't you let me carry Jezebel? It's okay, don't worry, I can manage. It's Lucia. Dino! So you've finally given birth? Yes. Come on, let's go. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my family home. Why won't you show us your baby? I want to see the baby. What are you trying to hide there? Don't show your hey, baby! Vivian, how dare you? You have no right to see the baby. She's our child. from us? Well, I do. That baby's my grandchild, and I have every right to see that baby. Mom, no, please, please don't. Don't away. you try to stop me, Tino. Please, ma'am, don't. I want to see the baby. No. That's enough. Don't give it to me. Stop it. <gasps> going on here? Uh, uh, Ernesto! Good heavens. I think it's best that we go home now. What happened to our town is such a tragedy. Although, I was told that the government would help us out. A lot of people died. Why do these terrible things happen to us? It's like our town is cursed. I understand, but no one wanted this to happen. Oh no. You're wrong. But who? The mermaid I saw some time ago. From the time I saw that mermaid, our daily catch started to wane, and all these bad things started happening in this town of ours. Well, that brought us bad luck. We have to drive that mermaid away to get rid of our misfortunes. But how will we drive the mermaid away? I know who's to blame for this.
We need to get home right away. Before the people of this town hear about that baby. I know that you don't understand me yet, my dear. But I just want you to know that... that I love you very much. I'm going to give you a normal life. You'll be beautiful. Very beautiful. You'll have a lot of boys lining up. All of them dying to catch a glimpse of your beauty, my dear. It's okay, Lucia. Come on, hurry up! The one responsible should have escaped! Hurry up! Hey, let's go! Everyone, let's come go. on! Let's go! Have come with us right town. now! Hurry, we should let hurry. it be game! Let's go! Hurry up! Hurry up! Come, come on, Susan! How are we going to give our baby a good life? I don't know how we'll do that. Oh, please tell me. I just know that we can give our daughter a normal life. As long as the three of us are together. We're going to be happy, Lucia. You know, what are we going to do? Stay here. Don't get out of the car. You need to let us through. Don Ernesto, give up that monster right now. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. I demand that you let us through. Move aside and let us through. Let's go. Just let us go. They haven't done anything wrong! Hey, no. hey why don't you let us through? We can't let you get away! Get you away. Get you away. Get away. Get Give us your baby! Monster. You brought the sport! Hey, wait a minute! Stop it! Get out! 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 Kill it, kill it, All of you stop it! Not a step closer! Don Ernesto! That monster has to die! To rid our town of the bad luck we've been having! Yes, yes that's, that's right. right! That's yes. right! Kill it. Uh, oh, stay oh, back! Oh, oh, no. I said not a step closer! Dino! Lucia! Get out of here! I'll take care of these people! Why, Don Ernesto? Don't you want to rid our town of all this bad luck? It's not my granddaughter who's causing the problems in this it's town. It's her! She's the problem because she's a hideous mermaid. You're wrong! Yeah, right, 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 right. She did it to us! Hey, they're trying to escape! They're trying to escape! Come on! Hurry up! 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 Hurry Nothing wrong! We'll be safe here. Dino, are you sure about this? Why are those people afraid of our daughter? Why are they doing this to us? We've never done anything wrong to anyone. Lucia, those people obviously don't understand, and that's why they're so afraid. What are we going to do now? Where are we going to go? Stay here and wait for me. I'll go out to look for some sort of, of transportation. Um, I'll be back as soon as I no, can. No, no, don't. You're not going anywhere. Uh, don't go. Lucia, they'll eventually figure out that we're hiding in here if we stay, all right? Please don't leave. Please, Lucia, and actually it'll be better if I talk to them. Okay? <laughs> no, please. I don't want you to go. Don't leave me. Lucia, I won't leave you guys here. Why would I leave the two of you here? I love you and our daughter so much. I'll come back for you. Do you promise you'll come back for I us I swear here? to you, I'll come back for you and our daughter. 
It's just important for the people of this town to know that our baby isn't a monster, and she has nothing to do with the bad things that have been happening around town. They know I'm scared. I'm scared don't of be, what might don't be happen. Scared. Don't be scared. I swear I'll come back for you too. Stop crying. Hold on to this. Just hold on to this. My grandmother gave me this when I was a kid. And she told me that whenever I felt sad, I should put this in my hand. So I'll remember her and be reminded that she's always right by my side. Hold on to this. So that whenever I'm not beside you, you'll feel as if I'm there. I swear I'll come back for you too. Okay? I won't take long. I, I have to go. Baby. So the people are after Lucia and Tino? That's right, Madam Felicia. We're trying to calm the people down, but they're very angry. They say her granddaughter's bad luck. So what? Were they able to catch Lucia? Not yet, madam. But I can assure you I'll keep you updated on any developments. Please, Chief. No matter what happens, make sure that my son is safe. The same goes with my husband. Because they're both Lucia's victims. Tino! Where's your wife and baby? Tino, where are you? Oh, what a big mistake. I shouldn't have allowed you to go. Jezebel, please don't cry, my dear. Give us your baby right now! My daughter has done nothing wrong. Oh no, my husband. She has done something wrong. She was the one who brought bad luck to this town of ours. That's not true. That's not her fault. Just hand the baby over to us! Jezebel, I'll leave you here for a while, okay? But we'll come back for you. I just have to go to your father. Then we'll leave this place together. We'll go someplace far from here. Someplace where no one will harm you, okay? I will not let you harm my daughter. Tino, we don't want any trouble. All we want is what's good for this town of ours, that's all! Huh? Oh no! Hey! Oh, no. You wretched animal! Hey, because of your daughter, I lost my son! You wretch! You're a monster! You're evil! No! Dino! Dino! No! Dino! Dino! Lucia! Don't talk anymore! Don't talk, please! It'll make things worse! I'll take you to a hospital! Everything will be alright! No, no! Please take good care of yourself! 
I love you and our baby so much. Please take care of Jezebel, okay? Bring her to the ocean. That's where her world is. She's going to be safe there. Here she's never going to have a safe and peaceful life. Lucia, don't forget. I love you very much. I love you too so much. Ha <laughs> <laughs>